Hello and welcome to your daily faith supplements. Today I'll be reading from Acts chapter 1 from verse 6 to the verse 8. I read, So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Hallelujah. Jesus always likes to draw his disciples towards what is most important. Scripture says that they had come together but the purpose of their coming together was not necessarily for what is most essential. Uh, we need to come together in these times but our coming together again like these uh, apostles our hearts cry must search for what is most critical in this time let us not focus on i know there's anxiety there are questions uh, believers are asking okay uh, um, uh, when is the rapture, rapture going to happen are we going to be raptured are we going to face the tribulation before the rapture there's so many questions and and and, and um, you know uh, queries that are going on even in the body of christ but I believe Jesus is calling us to what is most important. He's saying to them that, hey, focus. Do not concern yourself with things that the Father himself has said, the times and seasons that he alone knows. He brings them back and says to them, in this time, you will receive power. There's power of God available for the proclamation of the gospel. Friends, let us together call out to God. Call out for His Spirit. Call out to Him and say, Lord, pour out Your Spirit on us. Let us proclaim Your Word with boldness and with conviction. You receive power and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and to the end of the year. Now, some time back, if I was spoken to you at the beginning of the year, and I said to you, hey, you know, right from your home, you could have a global ministry and begin to proclaim the gospel. You said, oh no, that's far-fetched. That's stretching it. But today we are seeing that yes, as I'm speaking to you, and you might be listening to this from I don't know where, maybe the end of the earth. But yes, the power of God is available to you and I to proclaim the gospel. So friends, rise up in that power. Rise up in that authority. Seek that power. Don't be distracted by other things. Don't be worried about all the controversies and, 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 uh, and, you know, and the theories and all the things that are going on. But focus on this time and call out for an outpouring of the Spirit. Let the power of God come upon you, clothe you to proclaim His word even the the means that we have today, the means of technology and online. And I trust you, the word of the Lord will go to his people, which is people, people will be transformed, people will be impacted, people will be convicted. Receive the power of God and walk in that power in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Have a good day.